Hi, my name is Daniel Rückert. I'm one of the three academics leading the Biomedical Image Analysis Group at Imperial College London. My name is Ben Glocker. I'm an academic in the Department of Computing and a researcher in the Biomedical Image Analysis Group. My name is Bernhard Keins. I'm one of three academics who leads the Biomedical Image Analysis Group at Imperial College London. We're developing techniques for the acquisition, analysis and interpretation of medical images. At the moment, machine learning reveals to be a powerful tool in this domain. Machine learning lives from the huge amount of data that is generated on a daily basis in healthcare. Machine learning methods can learn from this data and automatically provide guidance and predictions from novel data that comes in. This makes the overall workflow much more efficient. Currently we're working on artificial intelligence and really what we're doing is we collect huge amounts of data together with our clinical partners who tell us what is wrong in an image and then we give that data to our algorithms who try to figure out the patterns that relate to disease. Machine learning plays a key role in many of our techniques which are designed to extract clinically useful information from medical images, but also from other sources of data, such as text. In London, we are in a unique position to address the current skills gap in this domain. Over a dozen clinical partners at our doorstep provide a direct route of novel computer-aided methods into the clinical practice. In our group, we are training a new breed of innovators. Our engineering students and scientists learn how to bridge technical skills with the clinical language, workflows and the regulatory, legal and ethical frameworks of healthcare. A particular challenging problem in medical imaging is image segmentation. In image segmentation, we are trying to extract quantitative measures from images. We are trying to delineate structures that do look abnormal, for instance a brain tumor in, a, in an MRI scan, and we are trying to measure in the image how big that tumor, for instance, is. We have recently developed some algorithms for brain tumor segmentation based on deep learning, and those techniques were so good that we even won a prize. So this algorithm is currently the best in the world to automatically analyze brain tumor images. We can reconstruct clear images from data that has been acquired under the usual clinical time pressure, so from really bad data, and interpret them already during patient examination. We study human health and disease from the beginning of life in the womb to old age. We would like to understand the development and the inner workings of the human brain. Another application of research in our group is the interpretation of brain images. We're using machine learning tools to try to help us identify those patients which develop diseases such as Alzheimer's disease or other forms of dementia. Cardiovascular disease is one of the biggest killers in the Western world. In our group, we use magnetic resonance imaging of the cardiovascular uh, system to identify potential diseases. Many of our techniques for identifying diseases and performing image analysis use state-of-the-art machine learning tools. We develop algorithms that can navigate through the human body. Some of our algorithms just need to take a quick look at a an image, a medical image from, for example, magnetic resonance imaging or computer tomography and know precisely where this slice has been acquired in the body. Some do this with submillimeter accuracy. This is, this is important for intervention planning or to reconstruct moving subjects in a scanner, for example. Our research in the Biomedia Group is devoted to improve patient care and help doctors to make better decisions. The aim of our research is not only to develop new methodology, but to also make an impact on patients' lives. Our ultimate goal is to develop computational methods that reduce suffering and avoidable deaths in modern healthcare. Together, we are Biomedia.